check this out. I was able to put all this together just under a thousand dollars. I picked up the camera, the Sony Alpha 7 S2 on eBay for just under 700. The gimbal, the tripod, the lens, I got those on Amazon for about $270. The plate, I got that on eBay for just under 12 bucks. So somewhere on the ballpark of $980, I was able to get make this set up yeah, for my night sky watching. Um, check out the camera. This is, this looks brand new, man. It's used, but it was well kept. I already tested it out. I, I already been messing with it for uh, for some days now, and uh, it works. It's good. It's good to go. You know, uh, this is a good camera for the night, man, because it has uh, the ISO setting. You can go all the way up to 409,000 ISO. Man. So uh, you don't need as much, but yeah, it, it, you can brighten up the night sky with this. So this is a good camera for, for that, for night sky watching. Now let's, uh, let's open these things up here. All right, let's go with, uh, let's go. go with uh, the telescope so the telescope there it is um, they make th this telescope was made by uh, by some company in China and this company doesn't make it okay you can you can just type in this information here uh, on Amazon and you'll see different brands so but it's the same scope now this one comes with a uh, teleconverter I think or magnifier yeah, teleconverter two times so two times this amount so it'll convert this to 1600 millimeters and it has the mount for the sony let's see uh, oh oh great <laughs> i forgot well, i'll use this trying to make this too long okay so let's go to the oh man <laughs> oh, really all right all right there you go. okay it looks like we got Got the little cloth. That's cool. Looks like some the manual. All right. That over there. Okay. All right. Some more information comes in this pouch. Okay. Mount oh. cap. All right. Oh, cool. It's a cap here. As the specs. As uh, here. Let's lock and lock. Stretch this thing out so it starts at f.3. 420 millimeters and it just extends all the way to 8 and the aperture is at 16. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. No. Not, not, not heavy. So, all right. I'm gonna cap that back off. Put this. We got the the converters and to connect the T-mount for the uh, Sony so 
Sony Alpha. Alpha. All right, E-mounts, the Sony E-mounts. All right, put this to the side. Okay, now let's go well, here's a, do the plate really quick. Okay, I wanted a long plate so I can uh, fit this, maybe fit both this and the camera. I think I'll be able to do it. Yep, I think so. It's just to give it that extra support. All right. Let's put that in there. All right, let's go with this gimbal, man. This gimbal gets really good reviews. Uh, it goes, it's on eBay, listed for about $66, I think it is. Oh, shoot. Just for... One thing with gimbals is, look at that, that looks nice, looks good, looks solid, but it really gets good reviews this one. Um, this thing when you attach it, it lines up with the, uh, or here, it lines up with the, with, with the axis. Um, some of the more less expensive ones, they won't line up. They'll be off center, off center, and that just makes it for uh, they're just for a wonky uh, 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 filming man. Just, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so like the the really inexpensive gimbals uh, uh, when they're not lined up properly here they when you turn the camera when you turn it's it, it makes for an odd turn on the video so this this one here from the reviews that i've seen on this gimbal uh it's really good real positive and it's really good really smooth it moves real smooth it ain't wonky it's uh it's a real good gimbal and like i said for 66 bucks it's a good deal uh, and then we got here I'm already seven minutes. Okay. Don't make it too long. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. It's tearing it up. All right. Let's see. Cool. It's on carrying case. All right, what we got in here? It's instructions, manual. Put them underneath that. Some parts. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Oh. Some. Oh, these are uh, cell phone brackets mounts all right all right look at that let's see if I can get some look at that it's solid man this thing is solid. Doesn't feel like cheap. Looks looks like sturdy. Feels sturdy. Yeah. This this thing gets really good reviews too. This thing you can get them for like seventy something dollars. Oh. But, all right. Well, let me go ahead and put all this together and I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. I got it all assembled. Tripod, gimbal, lens, camera. Looks smooth, man. This thing runs smooth. The, uh, the tripod, you can even, I can even loosen these up and ra raise it up even higher. But this is perfect for me and my uh, eye level. So, 
man. It's a good tripod, man. Sturdy. It's a really good gimbal. I had really good reviews on it. All right, I'm gonna test out that camera. Uh, so I'm gonna switch over to the video from the camera. All right. Okay, so now this is the Sony with, with the lens. It's currently at the 420 millimeter. Um, that tower over there is about 850 yards away. Uh, as you can see, it comes out clear. It's coming out clear. Now, I'm gonna zoom into it. Let's see, this is all manual, so it's gonna be some shaking. Gotta loosen this up, the ring, and then extend. I gotta lock the ring. I gotta lock the ring. And then bring it into focus. That looks about it's focused. I should need my glasses. <laughs> Let's see. That looks focused, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks focused. Yeah, right there. That's uh, 800 millimeters, which is, which is, what is it? It's equivalent to, what is it? Um, divide 24 into 800. And whatever that gives you is the, the magnification. So let me do that real quick. Let's see. Oh, this ring is going to be long. 800 divided by 24, which is 33. That's 33 magnification, right? That's 33 power. Now, now let's swing around. Oh, here's the plane. Oh, perfect. So I can get it. Look at that. Look at that, man. Is this handheld? Perfect timing. I got it at 420 millimeters. And even something that slow, man, it's kind of hard to keep it steady. All right, so here's a, a tower from earlier in the day. So I got the shutter speed at 60. Um, I have it at 80, the focal length at 800 millimeters, and the ISO is at 20,000. And just, I'm just going to crank up the ISO. What did you say? It's going to go up. So this is at 51,200. Let's see how it just exposes it. All right. So now this is 102,400. ISO, look at that, brines it up. Now this is at 204,800, you can see it. Clear you see the, uh, the tower. All right, I'll crank it up to, uh, this is to its max. This is max 409,600. This is max, and this is nighttime. Look how that looks. I'm telling you, this camera mount, the ISO, it's amazing. And it's the reason I, I got it. It's the only, it's really the only reason why I got this. Just for its night use. And it doesn't even look like it's, you know, night. <laughs> so. yeah, all right, we just crank it back down. See how, look at that.
crank up the ISO. I see it up there. Come on. There it goes. So I'm at 800 millimeter focal length. The ISO's at 51,200. And if I crank it, lower down the ISO. See, there you are. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, let me get a better focus. So you can make out the, the body, the crap of the plane. Let's see if I crank up the ISO. Boom. So 51,000 ISO, let's crank up the ISO. This is at its max. I'm at 800 millimeter focal length. This is at 51,200 ISO. Focal length is 800 millimeters. Aperture is 16. Shutter speed is at 1 30th. Clearly see the plane. Okay, so I have the camera aiming at Pallides. I have it at the focal length of 800 millimeters. The aperture is at 16. The shutter speed is at 1 30th. The ISO is 51,200. All right, let's uh, increase the ISO. Oops. Now that's 100, 2,400 ISO. Increase it. Okay, that's 204,800 ISO. I go all the way to 409,600 ISO. That's what it looks like. So can't see, you can see almost all the stars and definitely the main ones okay now I'm going to take this to Jupiter 
us. There you go. Jupiter. Jupiter. You can see some of its moons. Looks like what five of them there. Looks like there's five of them. Uh, if I can bring down the ice oil. Okay, I got the camera aiming at the moon. Um, got the focal length at 420 millimeters. Um, with this lens, the focal length starts at 8.3. Um, the ISOs I have it low. I had 100, 125. You don't need high ISO for for the moon. And the shutter speed is at 1 60th. All right. So what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm just going to zoom into the moon to its max of this lens which is 800 millimeters. First I have to unlock the unlock the lens then extend it out I have to lock it I'm kind of going slow here uh, let me just realign okay and then bring it into focus that focus there it is so that's at 800 millimeters and the aperture is at 16 so so this is what you can expect out of this lens hey thanks for sticking around this long I know it's a long video but here are my thoughts I'm gonna start off with uh, the tripod tripod it's good um, it's made of aluminum um, has some some neat features uh, one of the legs is a monopod you can detach it uh, the top portion you can extend it up further up if you need more height um, um, this this monopod uh, style um, you can find them on Amazon uh, for about 50 60 dollars under different names so it's the same thing um, so you can't you can't go wrong with it um, the uh, the gimbal the gimbal if there's one piece of this setup that I highly recommend is a gimbal this gimbal runs smooth smooth and there is there's no play going on where it connects or like you know, on the base and up here where it connects up there there's no wiggling going on None of that. The, the camera doesn't like drop down or nothing. It just stays um, really smooth, uh, easy to balance. It's 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 really good. Um, this one, this one is by Ulangu, um, but also um, there's another company that has the same gimbal. Same gimbal. It's made by the same manufacturer. Um, it's called Simawan. And you can find that one on Amazon for about $56. This one, a little over $60. But the, both are the same. You're getting a really good gimbal at, a, at, a, at, a, at an affordable price. If you're in the market for a gimbal, I highly uh, recommend looking into this one. It's really good. Um, now, moving on to the, uh, the lens. The lens is 420 millimeters to 800 millimeters. All right, with the focal length starting at f 8.3 to all the way to 16. Yeah. Um, I think the the lens is it's good. I mean, it's 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 not as sharp as a Sony lens or uh, Tamron, you know, or Sigma. They, it's not as sharp as those, but it's still it's good. It's, as you can tell by the videos. It's, it's, it's decent. It's a good lens to have, I think. Um, and <clears throat> for your camera, uh, it's an 800 millimeter lens for $100. I mean, it's a good observation lens. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's worth getting. Uh, and the camera, I, the camera, it's a Sony. What can you say? It's a Sony. It's a Sony Alpha 7. <laughs> you know, 
yeah it's it's about what eight years old or something like that when they these things came out uh eight years back and stuff but they're still relevant yeah they're yeah there's plenty of reviews on those and uh yeah you can't go wrong with those uh, but as you can tell in the video you know it has really high iso settings you can really crank up that iso up there and really bring out um expose what's in the darkness you know in the dark just really bring it out um, so it helps with sky watching um, so yeah this uh i do recommend it man i do recommend something like this it's for under a thousand dollars um and uh, it's uh i'm happy with it i think it worked well Yeah, I hope this uh, this video was uh, was useful, was informative. Um, I gotta tell y'all, man, that yeah, y'all should look up to the skies. There's things that are moving around up there. There's they, the the sky will show you the truth of what they don't want you to know, of what they're concealing. The truth is up there. It's up there. You know, Jesus said he is the light of the world. Those that believe in him will have the light of life. Is that what's going on up over us, above us? Those lights moving around? That's what it is. Those are his. Well, all right, well, thanks for watching this video. God bless y'all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, a lot of air traffic over here. <laughs> All right. See you. Bye. Take care.